Hey, what's good YouTube? Name with Mass Collector back with another video. Uh, today's video is um, kind of reviewing and trying out these new slab shield um, to protect your investment. And what they are are a, you know, kind of like a, a plastic clear sticker that you put over your PSA slabs. Um, I'm thinking you can get other sizes as well, but we're just, I just got, I have a bunch of PSA submissions out there yet, waiting for them. So I bought a hundred of these, I think, and uh, we'll test them out, and see how they how they work. So these are made by the guys over at Slab Stocks, and I saw they're they're promoting it on their Instagram page, and. Um, wanted to check them out slab shield protect your investment so it's kind of like uh, same type of process I think is like putting on a new screen on your on your phone Oh, cool. So slab shield, protect your investment. Thank you for being one of our first customers. As a thank you, here are some extra slab shields. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach us at slabshield at slabstocks.com. We are here to help. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right, so I don't know. I think I bought 100. I thought I bought 100. Um, here is the slab stocks website this is where i got the slab shields from so i just wanted to show you guys um, the pricing on this stuff here so going to their shop and this is a pretty sick hat that'd be that'd be cool um, if they had tall sizes i would probably buy a shirt so if you guys are watching if you guys got any 2xlts or 3xlts i'm, I'm in um, so here we go, uh, slab shields, I just got mine in today. So $3 to $100, so they have three different options here. Um, first one's a BGS or PSA, so either or, different sizes for you. And then they have diff three different choices here, so you can buy a pack of two of them for three bucks, you can buy a pack of 24 for 30 or you can buy a hundred for a hundred bucks. So um, I would definitely suggest you buy the hundred if you can, if you plan on buying some, just because you've got a pretty good savings there um, per piece that way. Um, so that's what we got for pricing. And here are the instructions. Gently wipe down the case surface, pull tab one and pull back on tab two, removing the film, align film and apply to the trading card case. Make sure that you are above the PSA embossed logo on the bottom right hand corner of your slab. That way, when you know, instead of putting it on top and working way down, you could cover that up. And if you go right above it, it seems to apply better. Uh, line firm and apply it to the trading card case. Gently push out any large air bubbles. So take your time when you're flapping that down. Rub your finger on it, pushing any air bubbles out as you work your way up to the top. Take your time and uh, you know you should get a pretty good application on that. Get these out of the way. Let's see here. I got a recent pickup in the mail of this um, atomic refractor. Kevin Garnett. We'll just use this one. Then. So the number one is first peel off before application. Number two us peel off after application. So they're not ones and twos, they're all, all in the same. 
just didn't look at it on the right side. I got like 10 or 12 extra of these. That's cool. And I'm assuming first steps first is clean the screen. Um, I was actually wondering if they were going to come with a... Ooh, this smells good. Um, a uh, sticker cover for the the label too. It might be overkill, but so we'll just do the face of this one first. One peel off before application. So take that off. And then it looks like it just doesn't totally fit the window. So I'm trying to line it up with the, the, like the supports inside the slab. So it definitely goes over the support. So let's see here. Don't have to go that far down. Put that on there. I don't have any, any, no, only one bubble. I got a piece of dust in there. Actually. dust in there. Let's see if I can get it out. So I definitely am not good at putting these on. I'm sure with practice I'll get better, but. Not the best application on my first try, but I did not see any um, like major directions here on how to how to do it correctly. Um, it's kind of one of those things where you just gotta try, do the best you can. I mean, anything on here is better than nothing. So, you know, looking at it, obviously I do have some bubble spots in here. There's no doubt about that. So I can push them out. Yeah, they actually get pushed out pretty easily. So for a PSA slab, there is that, um, you know, down here, this says PSA. It's kind of like that embossed little logo. So I had this up right over the top edge of that, which obviously is not the, the good thing to do but that might be the spot where you want to, um, when you put your, your shield on, is kind of hit the top of that PSA logo 
and then that would be like your starting point going across um, horizontally and then putting it on like that. I think that way you'd get a, a really nice um, even area for this for this thing again i mean this is to protect the case it's not like it's the end all protection it's just to keep some scratches off the front of your card so put this on throw it into a psa you know um bag and then you're got pretty good protection on these on these cards i mean obviously i am not going to throw these on you know cards that are already scratched up like if i bought off of ebay or anything like that it'd be more or less like um, new ones that i bring in or buy that i'm gonna keep for my pc for the most part but um yeah they look good works good so that's cool we'll do one more just to uh so here's my recent, one of my recent um, submissions to PSA. I bought this card raw last year and um, I put it in as a regular submission to PSA in February and I got it back. Oh, so. All right, let's, let's try this, this bugger out. I'm trying to get the less, the less glare as possible, but it's not really working out that way. I'm doing this in the daytime. Okay, so pretty much got this thing cleaned up. sticky but once you get um, up and down a couple times it kind of definitely um, lightens up a little bit on the sticky part so we're gonna try this again um, going with lining up this shield on the top of the PSA part. So I'm just going to bump it right into that. Or have it right on top of it. Trying to cover the main window as best as I can. All right, I see a piece of dust just landed. fast. Damn it. Okay, but that bubble pushed right out of there. I definitely need practice on putting these things on. But there is a little bubble right there. got to be more of a gradual it would have been nice if they would have had some tabs that were um 
a little bit longer on top, like even maybe in the middle, so that when you're putting it down, you can kind of slowly drop it straight and you know rub it, smooth it out as you as you work your way up. Um, having it on the side, you're kind of you know trying to trying to push it in there, bring it over here this way, try not to touch a lot of things, but I think if this tab was in the middle, um, like this, it would be so much easier to line it up better and also, you know, kind of get the starting sticking point with your finger and then just slowly put it down and kind of touch your way up the, uh, the sleeve and try to smooth it out as you go. Um, having it on the, on the corner up here really limits your control on the uh, on the shield when you're trying to put it down because you're you're dropping it on the on the edge on the one corner first so it's not going to be parallel all the way across or just maybe I'm just not good at doing this I guess if you put it down here and then start it it should be fine, but it just seems like it would be much better if it was in the middle of the, the removable part. So, but overall, these are pretty, these are pretty rad. Um, it definitely gives you a little bit more peace of mind when handling your, your, your slabs. You know, yeah, you're gonna have a couple air bubbles here and there, probably gonna show up, but for the most part, it's about protecting the case and not getting scratches and stuff like that on it. So let's uh, throw on one more on the Olajuwon side. So again, trying to Line up as best I can. Stick the bottom. And then I'm gonna go like this and just kind of slowly rub this down, kind of like you would on a screen on top of a phone that you would put on. Just try to limit as many bubbles as possible. seems to be going on pretty nice. And like that. That one was going sick. Peel that off. And we are good to go. So I had a couple bubbles on this one. Um, one little tiny one there that I just basically pushed out and then one on top here. I don't want to push too hard because I don't want to crack any, any of the case or anything, but you know, I think if you just, if you had a little applicator, like a little, I don't know, plastic squeegee type of thing, I think that would probably help a little bit. But overall, I mean, this one here went on really, really nice except for a couple bubbles, which are above the card actually. But um, I don't know, I like them. I think, I think it's a really good investment. You know, they're about a buck a piece. Um, if that, if you're buying over, you know, a certain amount. So um, thank you uh, Slab Shield for the, for the shields here and for the extra ones for being one of your first customers. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and uh that would be great you know leave a comment let me know what you guys think on these things um you know like the video give it a thumbs up and then also hit that bell for notifications for new videos when i put them out and we'll see you in the next one thanks guys later